I am who I am. We're going to talk about how these moralists and the people that are trapped in the sin program. You understand me? Yeah, this is real deep. Real deep. I don't even know how to start this, but I'm going to start from the spirit. Alright. Being trapped in the sin program, and it's only one way, it's only one way, the way that they teach you the way that they teach you so you're listening to another man that taught you that there's only one way and the scriptures that they're reading from goes back to somebody else's culture and they say there's only one way and before that because there's only one way there's only one holy spirit many names every pastor says this Every pastor says this. God has many names. So, there's only one way because you believe in that one way. But some, uh, somebody else might believe in a different way, but they believe in a whole different way than you. But that's that one way for them. See, we're told not to judge people, but we judge them. I know there's only one way. It it be the people in the most, the most troubled in life. You know what I mean, trapped in that sin program, trapped in the drug program. Still saying, there's only one way. Smoking all that drugs, and confusion sets in. You know what I mean, and that illusion takes over. So they look at somebody that's really in the spirit. Oh, they can't be in the spirit. They're not going by what, what I was told. But they're all, their God is the drug. Or their God is the, it's only mine, my way. There's only one way. I know somebody told me that was evil. My pastor told me that was evil. But I didn't tell God. And let the spirit tell me if that was evil or not. Let go of your fears. You fear something that you don't recognize. And you only recognize what your mind can comprehend. You can't comprehend that God... Set, set these stories and these allegorical forms to for every culture so they can resonate with that culture. Indians had the sun. Oh, that that's like an allegory for the sun. <laughs> S O N. Whoa, we're getting S U N. Whoa, we're getting. It's not that it's not that hard. These are all the same thing and you're fighting for the same thing cuz you don't really have what you say you have. There's only one way. One way is inside you looking inside you and finding your spirit, not the ego. Oh, let me talk in your terms. Not going with the devil. And going with God. Not going with bad. But going with good. Not going with what you see. This illusion. And judging people because of how they look. Because I've given you more truth than your pastor will ever give you. If you've been in the same church. And ha haven't elevated. And know that God's in you. And looking for Christ in you. Or you're just hoping for this little as halfway truth that they feed you so you can come back. 
They're supposed to give you the breads so you can make your own bread. Because this is not their bread. They act like it's their bread. And man lives not on bread alone, but the bread of life. Whoa, we don't got no Bible when he's speaking Bible quotes. Look at him. He has tattoos. Tattoo on his eye. Look at him. <laughs> and that's funny to me because it's like a, a joke between me and God. <laughs> these motherfuckers, like, these motherfuckers think there's something. When really, there's only the spirit. Yes. No man lives off bread alone. And they're acting like it's their bread. So don't be getting breadcrumbs for five years from a church or something and they're giving you little pieces. You should really have the fully spirit and you should be teaching. It's not their bread that they're giving to you. It's the bread of life. No man lives off bread alone what's the bread of life the words of wisdom it can never be theirs but give them give them your paper for 10 or how many years and you can't catch the holy spirit you can't ask yourself if that's evil or good you're supposed to rise past your teacher of this one in this world because the teacher, when you're connected, you get, you have no teachers, but the teacher of all. No teacher should have you under him. A teacher, a priest, a pastor, a reverend, a yoga, whatever you want to call it, these enlightened ones, they should never keep you down here. And you should never give thanks to my pastor. Oh, glory to my pastor. I already been through this. You know what I mean? Do you understand what I'm saying? I contact the church's phone call because you had to test the spirits. And they don't have the spirit. They couldn't tell me the bread of life. They couldn't tell me. A pastor. That they hold high. I mean there was even comments on my post. Saying oh glory to my pastor. No. No. Shame on you. All oh, glory to God. All oh, glory to my pastor. They hold these pastors like. They're God. No. Shame on you. All oh, glory to God. Then when I call him out, why are you holding your pastor higher? Oh, they help the community. That's God's money. Then when I say that, that's God's money. That's not them. They shouldn't even say it. This shit is crazy. That's me and God's joke. These They think they're something. When they're nothing. I'm not me. <laughs> Who do you think this is? It's going to come at you at this form. Yeah, I got tattoos. I got... It's going to come in this form. Because you denied everybody that looked like me. You didn't think I was going to get the Holy Spirit. You didn't think I was going to give my life to Christ. I'm here. I've been fighting the spiritual war. I've been praying for you. I've been praying for you. This is the war room. <laughs> this is the war room. I talk with the angels. I talk with the Holy Spirit. I talk with God. I talk with Christ, the Yahshua. Yahshua Yamashia. Jesus. And every, every spirit. That is of that one spirit. Not 
oh this side or this side no religion is a trap they should never put a name on God this is wisdom this is not rules <laughs> it's a way of life it's free will they're gonna say what are they gonna say what are they gonna say not to question question everything you get more answers, you'll be more smarter. Question everything. Why not? You'll learn more. So, they'll question you. That's a sin. That's a sin. They'll even have the audacity to play God and say, you have an evil spirit in you. And right when you think you, you had an evil spirit in you and you accept it, you have an evil spirit in you. And who's going to put the hands on you? Somebody that can't even heal you. Only you can heal yourself by accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior. He comes in many names. So don't get discouraged. But I have to. I have to go. To this existence. Even though I know I'm spirit. And that's merciful. Somebody that sacrificed their own life. That's why they say you be like Christ-like. Sacrifice your life. Oh, he's talking about suicide. See how these people and these devils. Come on, you got common sense. It's a spiritual death. You sacrifice your life as in the illusion. The, the partying. See, I have to get... I had to go to a different level to explain myself and I shouldn't be like that. You should know if you're connected with spirit. You have to go at a lower energy thinking always about what I want. Me, me, me. But not thinking about what as a collective. I mean, that's all I want to tell you. That there's only one way is looking inside yourself. <laughs> and that could be a different way to you. <laughs> but to that other person, it is that one way. Okay, and people that's like that, quick, they're trapped in a doctrination. Because all our life we're told to believe what whatever we're around believes. You know what I believe in? What made this, what made everything flow, what puts everything together, what makes. And I'm grateful. And I'm grateful.